Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel and today we're here with day 11 of 18 of US Coop and if you have not seen the first 10 days, you absolutely need to go back and watch. It's been an insane run. We're up $40,000 through 10 days. I'm going to try and continue this once in a lifetime heater today. Uh, playing the $100 Battle Royale PKO event here as part of US Coop. Uh, starting stack here, 100,000 chips. Alright, uh, three bet the ace two suited here get called. Bet the flop with the ace high flush draw. Calls nine of the turn. And then bet turn again. Even though it's a bounty, I think if he calls we or if he jams, we fold turn here. And just folds, we take it down. Alright, so we open King Jack here, get called. Go ahead and bet half on the flop with the open ender. Queen 10 7 calls 8 on the turn. Uh, three quarters turn here. Rivers, I would bluff, revolve mainly around the spade. This one's interesting, I think. I mean, a jack. Yeah, I'm going to go for it on the river. I'm not sure I love this line, but we are going to go for it here. I bet like my sets here of queens and tens as well. And then like my 9x2. Block jack nine, which is nice. He jams anyways. Bluff, no good. And we're down to about half starting sack. Um, here in this PK, we start. We have about a third of a stack. So when he three bets the ten, I'm assuming he's just like always calling here. So easy jam as king queen, going for my bounty. All right, do get the double, nice. All right, so under the gun limps here, we're gonna raise big blind ace king. And flop the ace, nice. Start quarter pot here. Um, heart turn, not super good. Let's see here. I think against somebody that limps ace king specifically, I'm still going to go big. Now, if he raises here, I might consider fold, which seems weird to just bet fold ace king. Um, oh, now we hope he has the hearts. <laughs> so I was going to say, I think against someone that limp calls this pre, I'm basically just trying to cooler them with other ASAC. Sometimes you run into hearts. Now I hope he has hearts. So we go for jam. And eventually see the full takedown of the ace king. So we see the limp here from cutoff. We'll raise the three and a half bigs. Back to limper. They call. Ace three two. Um, sorry, the check here five on the turn. Not a good turn either. I would have said most likely calling one unless they go really big here. Uh, against six, we'll call straight on the board. Checks and I think it's a spot where they're just I can get them the fold if I just jam huge if they don't have a six sometimes. So I'm just gonna try to put the max pressure on. Try and steal this pot. We do nice. I think most of the time, especially the stat line, they're going to bet the six themselves. Jams call, ace queen, ace king. Oh, you run into it there. Flop the queen, though. Oh, man. Wow. If you're wondering how we're running this series, it just continues to get more insane. So we crack ace king with ace queen there to stay alive. Uh, here you're going to call for 15 blinds with threes going for the bounty. King five. Nice. Do get the bounty. First bounty of the event. Uh, King Jack suited here. Player opens cutoff off 37. We flat off 50. Um, if big blind jams and cutoff folds with the bounty, we would call King high flop, King 6 5. So he does bet about third. We'll call. All right. Three is the turn. The 10 of spades is actually a bad turn here, so we lose to King 10 as well. Also brings potentially a second flush draw. Um, this is an interesting one if Donnie bets. He checks. So I think what I'm going to do is go small and call her spit and chiclet stack, but would fold if Donnie decides to run a check raise here. I think that's what we're going to go with. So again, the, king, the 10 turn not super great here. But with the extra bounty incentive. Now he decides just to flat. So I maybe should just... God, given the free card, I don't know. Weird spot. Four river. Seven eight does come in. Just snap check here. And good versus four three. So yeah, the open under. River to pair. King Jack, good. Um, ace five suited. I'm gonna go for the three bet. Uh they have a pretty big bounty, so I actually think this is maybe a three bet to call in hindsight. 
So $62. Actually, no, they have 170. So it's like, yeah, I think I'm actually gonna three back fold this. This is maybe supposed to be a three back call. Uh, it just ends up calling Queen Jack two. So a quarter pot here. Turn ace, nice. So the question is, is this a jam or a check? I think I'm gonna check here, hoping he turns something like nines or tens, eights, jack ten into a bluff on the river. The river's interesting because there will be some bad rivers still on double flush draw, but I don't think if I jam actually I might just jam the double flush draw anyways. Uh yeah, I think I'm going to. Hope he still calls with like King Queen. Call set. Oh boy, I just jam drawing dead. Oh, that's tilting. So I'm not sure on the ace five jam there. If it's not double flush, I don't jam. I'm hoping part of that is that he calls with something like king queen, king jack. I guess even king jack's probably not going to call queen ten. Yeah. I probably just need to check turn even though it's double flush draw. Maybe got way too greedy with the weak ace there. That was uh, potentially a misstep there. Um, here with ace king, we open. Uh, big blind's going to throw us a super strong formation. We're just going to get in covering for the bounty for sure though. So we're playing effective 25 blinds. Also has ace king. Oh geez, we got the heart free roll. Get there. Oh my gosh. Jeez. <laughs> ace king versus ace king and I just win it for a bounty. Just absurd at this point. Ace four suited. Um, jam is nine. We rejam ace four suited or just call. Just gonna go for call here. This is maybe supposed to be a rejam for me. Ace 47. Pop the gutter, the backdoor diamonds. And we win. Runner, runner. Jeez. Oh my gosh. All right, up to ace, uh, ace four there. I don't know if it's supposed to be a flat or a rejam there to ISO, but anyways, we win a big one for another bounty. Also, just hit post late reg here in this one. So you can see it currently sitting 21 of 149. We're in for one bullet. Looking at pretty good there. Uh, so I'll take a look at the prize pool as well. So looking at the prize pool here, you can see first and second place lock up $3,073 plus the bounties. And we are going to pay the top 71 players at least $82. All right, so we open sevens here. Couple calls, eight, seven, six. Uh, deep enough, I'm probably not going to play bets on this board versus the defends. Now, if this player leads, I think middle and top set will raise versus them. Whereas like bottom set, I would consider not, but I think we go for raise here. Queen the turn. That turn, uh, trying to think on size. Trying to go a bit more geometric here. About two thirds. Six river, beautiful river card. Hopefully he has a straight now. <laughs> He's like half pop behind. Maybe just jam the turn, but as play, we have an easy jam. Leads 105. I'm actually going to want to puke here if he has like eight four. <laughs> Hopefully he has like seven six too. That'd be a good one. Um, again, this is just hoping he has a straight, especially the additional value of the bounty. It's not much more. I think we want to go for this here. Well into the tank. And eventually folds though, good pickup for us. Say the limp, go for raise. Playing about 100 blinds effective here. Uh, checks to me, go for half. I mean, nine, four, two hearts here. So they slightly cover me. 10 of hearts on the turn. Really bad turn for aces. Actually, could be a check. Aces, no heart. Very, very bad turn. Uh, good river. So I'd raise against block big bets. I might consider a nitty just call. If he like goes pot or bigger, I would just call. Uh, he checks, so easy river bet here. Would be sad if he check raises. I think top set probably calls. Anyways, we're good. Get called down. Ace is good versus queen 10. Wow, so we turned two pair. We river to top set. Sick, sick run out. I'm going to hop over here with 10. So this is open off 50. We're going to flat with 33 and 20 behind. Try to do some jams for bounties. Uh, King 3, 2. Kind of had a hand earlier, similar. So this time, bet's third call. 8 on the turn. 
Uh, if he bets again, tens no club, I'm most likely calling unless he overbets. So bets about half will call. And river is set. It does bring in the clubs though. So if he bets river, I think mostly just call. Nitty just call. If he checks, we definitely go for value though. Even if it gets small, I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Oh, do I jam here? This is close. Lose the Kings. It's the worst call. I most likely go. I'm just trying to think if I get worse to call here or not. Nitty just call. Whew, thankfully we did. All right, so he has a king guy flush. We have a set. Just call versus the small size. So lose some chips there, but could have been worse. And there it is in the money, guys, of the $100 PKO. One bullet. So we've locked up $82 for the prize point, at least $87 for the bounty. And then we're playing for $3K plus the bounties up top. Just calls. Uh, 3 2 2, go for the small bet here. Decides to lead the turn here. We're going to fold. All right, even if they get in, we get in as well. All right. Ace Jack, oh no. All right. We're going to be out, guys. So I think there, like, he's going to rejam, like, any Ace X there. So I think the Ace 10, we do want to go after it. And then we got a chance to, like, almost triple. So do decide to go for the spot. Unfortunately, no good. All right, YouTube, that wraps up day 11 of 18 of USQ, but unfortunately, a losing day for us here after our biggest win ever. So final results today, 735 on buy-ins. Uh, 316 in cash is minus 418. After 11 days, still up slightly over 40k on the series, which is way above my hopes and dreams coming to this series. So, hope you guys are enjoying the videos in this series. If you are, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.